Oh boy, do we got a fucking dookie on our hand today. I was saying to Steven Young, uh, Ratitude is the, the Unerdos Trash trilogy of um, fucking Weezer's career. Weezer's discography is pretty much the black mark on their discography. I've heard, you know, Rock Coliseum, you know, uh, ARTV, um, Rock Critic, Rocked and Spectrum Pulse. They had a discussion and they said, oh, wouldn't we should be so much better if they didn't have Ratitude in their discography? And to that answer, I would say, yes, they would be a better band, but you would still have Make Believe and Pacific Daydream, which is old garbage, uh, and the fucking new Teal album. What does Teal even mean? Like light blue, greenish? It doesn't mean peace stars, basically, because the new album, the new colored Weezer album is Pistache Colored, but I believe you say teal. I believe, you know, Pistache is... Is that a Dutch word? I'm not sure, but... Like, yeah, all of those modern Weezer records after White are just so terrible, like, fuck's sake. Like, why couldn't Weezer quit after Everything Will Be Alright or White Album, you know? Those albums are so great. Why couldn't they just hang it up after that? Like, fuck's sake, Weezer. But according to everyone, the Black Album is going to be great, so hopefully Weezer will get back into some good music again after uh, three years. It feels like forever since we already had two records after that and they were both hot garbage, so there we go. Uh, yeah, uh, speaking of hot garbage, Ratatouille is right here at your doorstep. Uh, it has three and a half stars on all music, three stars by the users, which is really bad. I actually gave it a three and a half, but I'm gonna change that. Well, I'm not gonna change it yet because that would kind of spoil the rating, I suppose. But accord, you know, spoiler alert: it, this album is hot garbage. It's trash. You know, that's not really a new. It's not really a surprise, honestly. Um, yeah, if it comes to Weezer, I love their, you know, their their first two albums. I love the Blue album. I love Pinkerton. I like Green. I believe I've only reviewed the first three albums and I'm gonna review Hurley after this, so there we go. And yeah, after that I believe, you know, I'm done because I, I'm not really a review guy anymore because no one gives a shit, so there we go. Uh, yeah, so, Relitude. Um It has a 1.62 on Rage of Music, which is really bad. A 5 is the highest score you can get and Blue Album has almost a 4. Pinkerton has a slightly ro lower rating, uh, 3.86, whereas the Blue Album is uh, almost a 4, 3.92. Uh, and pretty much the rest of their discography is like, it, you know, Green barely makes a 3, Melodroid uh, almost has a 3, Make Believe is, you know, it has a 2, Red barely cracks, to, cracks 2.5. Uh, same thing with Hurley, I think Hurley is kind of good, but you know, that's of course debatable. Uh, Ratitude, you know, hot garbage, uh, Death to False Man was apparently a thing. Everything will be alright and White Armor, good received. Pacific Daydream is trash. The two albums are actually quite underwhelming. It's not as bad as Pacific Daydream, but it's still pretty bad. So, uh, yeah, I really hope that Weezer comes back with his Black Album or, you know, they just have to hang it up, I suppose, because Black Album cover wise doesn't really look good to me. Like, you know, them covered up in paint, it looks really bad, so. Will probably not be good, but you know, saying that I thought the I thought the Pacific Daydream had a great album cover whenever it was uh, teased. You know, the the cover itself, the girl on the swing uh, above fucking Mother Earth. I thought that looked really cool. It still looks pretty cool, but the album is trash. So yeah, it's it's kind of like a throwaway cover at this point. So there we go. Probably the worst cover will go to Ratitude or the Red Album. The Red Album is pretty bad. Red, Ratitude and Hurley are all really bad. Red is really bad in general, Ratitude is just bad all around. And Hurley is good, it's a good album, spoiler alert. But the cover is half-assed. It's the most half-assed Weezer cover of all time. You know, Red they tried, Ratitude they tried less, and at Hurley they didn't even try. So, there we go. But uh, let's talk about Ratitude, I don't really have a lot to say about this record. Um, oh, I actually don't have my Wikipedia open for this, which is kind of surprising. Um, yeah, Ratitude, uh, we start off of course with the classic If you're wondering if I want you to, I want you to, which is a retarded title, but it's a good song. 
the riffs are pretty catchy, they're captivating. You have that acoustic kind of banjo kind of uh, uh, kind of you know uh, sound to it, which is pretty good. The chorus is pretty electrifying. Uh, go. That was so out of tone. Um, it's just a great song. It's very poppy. It's very melodious. It's, it's in good taste. It's, it's tastefully done. Production is really good. Uh, yeah, this is just a good song. It's uh, you know. It's 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 just like fucking um, like it's such a misleading song. I believe that Crash Roll, you know, rock critic, one of my favorite YouTubers, also said that uh, this song is just like it's such a misleading song because if you go to best ever albums, this song got an 82 out of 100, which is really good, and the rest of the album got like it got 50s and 60s and 170 rated song. That's it, and only. If you're wondering, got an 80. It got an 80 and the rest of the album didn't even come near that number. So that should indicate how bad this album really is. And actually, if you go to Best Ever Album, the first, uh, the first uh, recommended video that you should click on is the, the Rise and Fall of Weezer Ratatouille, which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, this is just a good song. The title's retarded, but it is probably like one of my favorite Weezer songs. Yeah, probably. I just really love the chorus. I really love uh, the colorful, bright nature of the song. It's just a great song. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty much my favorite of uh, of the relative Hurley era of Weezer. Pretty much my favorite song of that era. I, yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of Red, so just even try that record in there. Uh, then we get the second track, which is I'm Your Daddy. Retarded lyrics, just, uh, you know, I'm going Rolling Stone on this one. You know, Rolling Stone, Pinkerton era. Completely ignore the lyrics, pretty much on this whole entire album, but especially on I'm Your Daddy. The lyrics are just cringy. Um, basically, the chorus goes like, You're my baby girl tonight, and I'm your daddy, which is the creepiest thing I've ever heard Weezer saying. This is just like, um, I actually don't mind the instrumentals. If this would be an instrumental uh, song, if this would be an instrumental, I actually would really like the song. But even then, you need some lyrics for that, and they just fucked this song up. This song literally got served to you on a silver platter, and the only thing that you uh, would have done to this song is write good lyrics for it. But even that you fucked up, you fucking... Like, don't get me wrong, I love Weezer, I love their early stuff, but like, this record is so trash. Like, Honestly, so I still probably would add the song to my favorite because I really like the instrumentation of the song I just hate the fucking lyrics. So I will probably put The instrumental side of I'm your daddy and you know the rest of the, the record is trash. So spoiler alert Girl got hot is generic garbage. It's just pandering. It's tasteless. It's just generic You know at least with I'm your daddy. It's creepy. It's weird. It's unique Girl got hot is literally a generic party anthem speaking of party songs can't Stop Partying, um, it got a 54 on Best Ever Albums, which is terrible, that is a terrible rating. Featuring Lil Wayne, like I'm getting a fucking, like my brain is numb right now. I'm, this song is terrible, like should I really talk about this, it's just such a bad song. The, the verses are phoned in, Lil Wayne's verses got awful, like that guy hasn't been good in like, well he, he was good at that time, but even then he was fucking trash, so. Ah, like fuck's sake mate, um, I mean, the, the verses are phoned in, it's an electric auto-tune pop song, it doesn't even sound like a Weezer song, there's rap in it. Like, this is a wheezy song, like, fuck's sake, mate. This is easily my least favorite song of the album. It, this song is terrible, like, if you see this, if this song would be a person, I would shoot this song on sight. Like, I don't give a shit how, how much, how long time I would be sitting in jail, I don't give a shit, I shoot this fucking song on sight. Like, fuck this song, fuck this album. Then we have Put Me Back Together, which is kind of like, you know, you know, the album is asking, I don't know what it was, sorry. Um, this this song is asking basically, oh, put me back together because it's already fucked up. You know, three, four songs in, I suppose. So it's asking, uh, can you put me back together? And I'm just like, nah, mate. It's still 
pretty much the best song on this record, but I like the instrumentation on I'm Your Daddy more, so I'm gonna pick that one. Although, uh, just saying, my favorite is I'm Your Daddy, it's just so bad. But actually, the, the record has an average rating of I'm Your Daddy, which is 66, which sounds really fucking weird. And so you should change the rating to 69, if you know what I mean. For fuck's sake, man. Um, yeah, I know, my taste of humor is really tasteless, so there we go. Try to say that 10 times, Jesus Christ. Tripping down the freeway, this is just kind of a generic anthem. Uh, Weezer trying to make like a, like a radio uh, drive-by highway kind of song, you know, on the freeway. It's just kind of like one of those songs where Weezer is pandering to the fucking car, uh, the car listeners, I suppose, the car radio listeners, you know, the, the truck drivers, which is just fucking retarded, honestly. Love is the answer is god awful. Um, there are some Indian like influences on this. You have the. Just think about uh, the sensei, the kind of Indian, the kind of meditating music you would hear whenever you're meditating, right? Weezer is trying to do that here, but you know, again, it's it's served on a silver platter uh, for them by Weezer, for Weezer. You know, it's served on a silver platter. Fuck's sake. It's served on a silver platter for Weezer to use this song, this, this instrumentation, this really obvious in Indian influence uh, meditating music. It's served on a silver platter for Weezer. And they did absolutely nothing with it. Like, they, like they did nothing. They made the vocals worse, the, the, the aha, you know, the. The meditating sound, the, the voice that you hear on the song is just god awful. I don't know what they sampled for this. It just sounds absolutely lifeless, drab, it just sounds phoned in. This whole record is rushed. Like I believe this record came out one and a half year after Red Album, which is just kind of like why people were not excited for Weezer. Like Red Album was really middle of the road and then you drop a dookie like this. Not Green Day dookie levels, but Literally a dookie, if you know what I mean. Just look at the dog, and there's a dookie coming out of him, if you know what I mean. And that's basically this record right there. Um, Let it all hang out, which is for most people like the guilty pleasure, like the the, the saving grace of the album. This song's awful. Um, the title is terrible. It's you know every time I say or look at this album, I imagine an old couple or an old grandma uh, letting it all hang out all those chubby all that skin that is like hanging there and like a fucking fan not a literal you know weezer fan but like a literal fan you know blowing fan is like next beside her and all those chubby that fat is like going beside her you know it's it's all hanging out. That's what I. That's what I think of when I, whenever I fucking hear or listen to the song or just read the title. I don't even need to hear the song, and it's already ruining me. So that should indicate the quality of this fucking uh, fucking uh, album right here, if you can even call it that. I'm thinking about that one granny that had it all hang out. I believe it was on American Dad or South Park. Or it was probably Family Guy, but I fucking hate Family Guy. I actually like I like American Dad, but I fucking hate Family Guy because it's just such a dog shit show, honestly. Especially Brian, you know, speaking of dogs, he's the fucking Satan of dogs. Fuck that piece of shit. He can die with this arm for me for all I care. So but that's another thing for another day, I suppose. If I if I'm ever going to review a uh, movies and TVs and stuff like that. T TVs, I'm gonna rate TVs, I'm gonna rate TV shows. But we're doing this all right now. Um, yeah, and where can you get those TVs? In the mall. Oh, that was so terrible. <laughs> um, this is the most lifeless, the most dreadful, the most boring, forgettable song that Weezer's ever wrote it in their career. Because you can say Can't Stop Partying is the worst song they've ever made, which is true. But at least it's memorable because it's so god awful. In the mall is so fucking mediocre. It's so bad. It's so. Nah. 
that there's literally nothing to talk about here. The song is just plain bad and it's not really anything honestly. It's just there. So I don't really have a lot of things to say about the song other, other than if I have to say the worst Weezer song as in just normal Weezer not this bullshit wheezy can't stop partying bullshit then In The Mall would be a good contender for the top spot as in worst Weezer song. Although that new 2 album is really getting on my nerves too but that, that's a cover album. And well yeah Pacific Daydream too. Man, we just have a lot of bad albums for fuck's sake. But I still love them. I still love their early stuff, so. <laughs> I just ignore their later stuff, like fuck that noise. Okay, except for everything and uh, EU Bait and uh, White. You know, I like those albums, so there we go. And then we have I Don't Want to Let You Go, which ironically got a 69. Yeah, if only I'm your daddy got that rating, for fuck's sake. Um, yeah, this is just a sappy kind of goodbye song. It's just really generic, you know. It's like every Maroon 5 ending uh, song, you know. Weezer got to the level of Maroon 5, it should indicate how fucking awful Weezer is. Nowadays, I would say, Weezer didn't used to be this bad, but you know, they are now, so there we go. And yeah, they got to, to this level again recently with Pacific Daydream, so yeah, Weezer can't fuck all, really. Uh, there's not a lot to say here, it's just, you know, kind of like every Maroon 5 ending song, it's really sappy, it's really predictable, but I suppose you've never listened to a Maroon 5 album, and glad for you, because that would not be a good idea, you know, um, songs about Jane and It Won't Be Soon, you know, a retarded album title, those are good albums, Hands All Over is kind of a guilty pleasure for me, but I of that Maroon 5 is awful, so there we go. Um, yeah, and what's the thing, fucking, this album is just bad, like, it has such a sappy ending, um, I mean, if you're wondering, is the only saving grace of this album, and I'm your daddy, is kind of a guilty pleasure for me, because it's creepy, it's weird, but it has good instrumentation, I like the instrumentation on the record, so that's something, I guess. Girl Got Hot is hot garbage, cancel partying is the worst thing they've ever made. Put Me Back Together, you know, it's a C- kind of song, but it doesn't really save the record, honestly. Tripping Down the Freeway, Span Ring, Love is the Answer is just unnecessary. Let It All Hang Out is cringe. In the Mall is the worst normal sounding Weezer song, if that makes sense. Uh, and I don't want to let you go, it's just like boring as fuck, it's just such a sappy, boring, lifeless, dreadful ending, so. Um, and you also have a bonus song, which was Look Around, I'm pretty sure, which does nothing at all. That was probably the most straightforward, generic uh, Weezer song I've ever heard in my life. Uh, Turn Me Around, recorded in 2003. Oh, apparently they recorded this around... Melodroid era, but it still sounds like ass. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why they saved it for Relitude. I'm wondering. But yeah, this, uh, this record is awful. Like, yeah. The first two songs, in my opinion, are good. The rest of the record is fucking trash. And since there are 10 songs on this album, that would, be, that would make a really easy rating. I like two songs, and I fucking hate the rest. Two out of 10. Yeah, pretty much. I believe that Alex gave it a 2 out of 10, so yeah, fair game. It's a terrible album, so there we go. If you enjoyed this uh, album review, then let me know in the comments down below why, uh, what should I review next, or, well, I'm not gonna really, I'm not gonna take notes anymore because I'm just kind of finishing up right now because no one gives a shit about this, so there we go. Um, yeah, again, I would probably. Uh, only put if you're wondering in the favorite tracks and I'm your daddy as in instrumental side I like that but as the lyrics are awful so there we go so I might even give this album a one and a half but I would still I would still be generous to Weezer and give them a two because you know I, I like Weezer I, I love the early stuff so I'm kind of a sucker for that so there's a little bit of bias in this review but for most of the part I fucking hate this album you know your, your, your back catalog can be as great as the Smiths, Oasis, uh, fucking, you know, your own career itself, you know, it can be as great as that. 
But even then, there's all, you know, you can not defend us all, like fuck's sake, man. It's kind of like, you know, you know, while, while we're talking about Lil Wayne. I'm kind of like Snoop Dogg with Doggy Style, such a great debut album, and then The Dog Father. The Dog Father is kind of like his attitude in a way. Although it's still considered one of his best albums, you know, that's how bad Snoop Dogg is. And he has one good album in his career, so there we go. I don't know where I was going with that, but... It, it, it's kind of like for Snoop Dogg, you know, it's kind of more extreme with Snoop Dogg because Snoop Dogg went from Levels of Blue, the Blue album Weezer, from immediate make-believe, Ratitude, bottom of the barrel garbage, he immediately went down to that. Whereas Weezer made a slow decline, you know, Blue album, Pinkerton, Green already really sings Weezer into, you know, the downfall. Uh, Melodroid, Make Believe, Red, and then Ratitude. Like my hands on the fucking ground right now. And then Hurley, it kind of came back again, but Weezer just kind of gave up at that point. So there we go. Cannot blame the band honestly. And then you had to wait four albums for a new Weezer album that didn't actually suck. So that was actually quite surprising for most people. But I'm um, going on for too long now so thanks for watching this video uh, let me know what, what you think about the Weezer discography do you like the band do you hate the band let me know in the comments down below I, I, I love Weezer I love uh, their first four albums I love uh, Everton, Eubate and White I love those albums and I like Hurley spoiler alert so yeah there we go we're going to talk about Hurley in the next one hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one peace